Welcome to another episode of Marketing Learn Chain, learning through a chain of snippets. Today, we talk about a tool that has been basic, central, and grounded to management in general and marketing in particular. A foundational tool which has been used for 50 years. Yes, you heard it, for half a century. The Boston Consulting Group Metrics popularly known as the BCG Matrix. Let us start from the genesis of business planning. From Indus Valley to Indira Gandhi, that is from time immemorial till the beginning of the 1970s, pyramidal hierarchical structures have dominated organizations. What we call as the old economy era in which all your last mile business units were identical, were homogeneous. In such a scenario, my resource assignment was a simple job. My growth assessment, given the fact that I had to assess only one growth market, was again simple, which meant that my direction, coordination, control, cost management, profitability was all from one single top-end management. All this changed with the arrival of the multi-business corporation. Today, we have the same parent organization running completely diversified, completely heterogeneous, multiple businesses. How do you cope with this variety, this range, this disparity all under a single roof. This has been a business challenge since the 1970s. What is a multi-business corporation? Remember Thomas Alva Edison, one of the best inventors of the United States, probably one of the best in the world. We associate him with the invention of lighting and the beginning of the company General Electric. Today, G over the decades has spread into industries as diverse as consumer products, power, finance, oil, gas, software, healthcare, aviation, media, entertainment, each of them is on its own. Completely different industries and GE is considered as the first true multi-business corporation. Coming closer home, Look at our own Mukesh Ambani. His business empire spreads over such vast areas like petroleum, petrochemicals, banking, media, telecom, remember geo, retail, textiles, power, the list is truly endless. Now, each of these independent business units is called a strategic business unit or an SBU and a set of SBUs is called a portfolio. Now, how do you plan businesses across these business segments? That game is called portfolio planning and the basic tool used for the same is DBCG matrix. We now come to the heart of the BCG matrix. Notationally, the four quadrants are quarter number one, question mark, quarter number two, star, quarter number three, cow, and quadrant number four, dog. The matrix is called the growth share matrix because the y-axis projects market growth and the x-axis projects market share. Market growth, as you would appreciate, is an indicator of the attractiveness of the industry, an exogenous parameter, and market share is an indicator of the core business unit's strength and endogenous parameter. So y-axis is what you get externally and x-axis is what you can do internally. An interesting part of the BCG matrix is that the origin is not at the bottom left as it typically is. It is at the bottom right. Now let us plot for each of these quadrants four parameters. Market growth and market share plus what is the cash usage in this quadrant 
and what is the cash generated by this quadrant we'll start with quadrant number one obviously when i'm starting my product development life cycle i would prefer to be in a market which has got a high growth and on the day i start my business my market share is going to be low or no so it is a high market growth low market share beginning what about cash usage i need to pump in a lot of money to ensure that my question marks are fed so that they can transform tomorrow to stars in the market so the cash usage is high but the cash generation by the quadrant by the portfolio within the quadrant would be very very low we'll now move from quadrant number one to quadrant number two growth continues to be high but now you have consolidated your position as far as market share grows and market share becomes high red moves to green unfortunately cash usage continues to be high because this is a very competitive market it's a high growth market and hence all competitors are there in the market so to maintain your visibility and credibility you need to continue pumping money into the market so the cash usage is high but now thankfully cash generation has started so they match out now we settle i'm consciously using the word settle into quadrant number 3 what is settling here the market growth is settling why i have not used a red color for market growth because a low growth market is not necessarily a bad market in most of the mature industries in most of the advanced countries market growth is very low that doesn't make it a bad market so now when you are coming to quadrant number 3 where the market growth has slowed down the market share is still very strong that is the classic cow quadrant your cash cow where now i can afford to have a lesser cash usage and generate tons and tons of money this is the classic cash generation quadrant continuing my journey along the product development life cycle my market growth continues to be small once market growth falls it tends to remain small but now after some point of time after many years maybe after many decades my market share starts dwindling starts slipping and i slip to the dark phase the cash usage of such a quadrant continues to be low but unfortunately the cash generation also becomes low now two classic dual quadrants here are the negative cash flow quadrant which is question quadrant 1 and the positive cash flow quadrant which is quadrant 3 why is quadrant 1 negative usage is very very high but generation is very very low why is quadrant number 3 positive my cash usage in that quadrant is very low and that is the classic high value cash generation quadrant it is the cash cow quadrant that finally supports the dogs feeds the question marks and sustains the stars nothing drives home a concept better than an example let us take samsung's television market and the question mark product at this point is the curvature tv lots of hope lots of hype but has it got a significant market traction to my limited knowledge no will it get well i wouldn't know but this is exactly what we thought when the 55 inch led tv came to the market television not so long ago was just 21 inches along the diagonal why would i want a two and a half times bigger television but then today that particular tv the so called 55 inch led tv has clicked has been there for some time has gone out good market share visibility and credibility for the brand but but remember that the cash cow is not the 55 inch television the cash cow still happens to be the 32 inch and the 40 inch television they still rule the market samsung 
gains its branding edge using the 55 inch tv and solid financial returns using the 32 and 40 inch modest tv which brings us to the good old crt tv the 21 inch tv that has truly become history today a decade before this became history the good old black and white television became history so this is how product life cycle evolves in a particular category by way of conclusion bcg is a nice picture just like this channel and its promise that a picture is worth a thousand words a bcg mapping is truly worth a thousand words let us look at x-ray as a comparison an x-ray is a non invasive procedure it can be completed in a jiffy and it very clearly indicates the position enlargement of the heart the lungs and the surrounding blood vessels it obviously might not show you very small clots asd vsd holes valve position etc but to begin with as a critical examination tool there is no substitute to an x ray in a hospital the same applies to a bcg matrix for planning your business objectives for mapping your resources to various strategic business units for checking your position in the product development life cycle for predicting your cash flows and finally to build strong heavy recommendations like when do you build your business when do you hold your business when do you harvest your business and finally when do you divest your business there is no better tool than boston consulting group matrix hope you like the snippet from marketing learn chain the next one is not too far away till then keep watching keep liking keep commenting that would keep the conversation on and keep subscribing to your favorite channel thank you ladies and gentlemen